Bros. Today we're asking people what their favorite part of 2023 was. Probably, I'd have to say none of it. Oh, okay. Um, what was your biggest accomplishment? Uh, beating my cross country time this year at Bi State. Nice. Um, playing hockey. Nice. What was your biggest accomplishment in 2023? I made a rep. B team this year in hockey. Nice job. Halloween. Nice. What was your biggest accomplishment in 2023? Football, because I got a lot of tackles. Good job. Probably my birthday. Nice. What was your biggest accomplishment in 2023? Getting good grades. Good job. Well, a couple months ago, I took my Craftsman lawnmower and I drag raced it against other mowers. I got second place. Cool. And what was your biggest accomplishment? Uh, probably starting a new, uh... What's up, bros? Today we'll be talking about wrestling and when it starts. What's your name? Uh, Mr. Miller, athletic director here at Jennifer. What's your name? Leighton Nedrow, I'm the new head coach here. We're here at Jennifer. What grade? When does wrestling start? Uh, actually, first day back from break, January 2nd. We're going to be in the cafeteria right after school. Um, it's exciting. We're excited to get going. What grades can join wrestling? Every grade, six, seven, and eight. Can boys and girls both join wrestling? Yes, strongly recommend it for the girls. Try and get girls team built up and feed into the high school. Uh, we usually practice uh, every day after school, uh, like from 3.30 until about 5. Uh, it's pretty easy, but we'll be in the cafeteria most of the time. And uh, again, we have uh, six or seven uh, um, wrestling duels shut up and road trips. And it's going to be a good season. What would be probably your favorite part of coaching? The kids getting great athletes and push them to be a better person, better role model. So. Yeah, I mean, we have about 35 kids signed up so far. We're looking for more. So, hey, come out. If you're thinking about it, wrestling is a great sport. You really find out who you are and how tough you are. It's, it's going to be great. Okay. That's it for wrestling, Burroughs. Hope you guys have a good season. Hey, Burroughs. Today we're doing the rapid fire trivia. Let's go. If you could have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> why? Because that's good. What's your rank in Fortnite? Bronze three. That's embarrassing, bro. <laughs> what have you forgotten today? Breakfast. Do you have any pet peeves? What is it? My sister. Why? If you could have any superpower, I'd want to fly. Why? Um, because I could go places faster. Do you think you would be friends with a clone of yourself? Maybe. Okay. How would you handcuff a one-armed man? Uh, it, if you could take a vacation anywhere, where would it be? Uh, Bahamas. Why? Because it's nice and sunny and warm down there. Okay. Have you ever been tempted to sleep in a fridge? No. <laughs> Which way do you hang your toilet paper? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> Over or under? Uh, sideways. Do bald people get dandruff? I don't know. Uh? That was fun. Thanks for watching. What's up, JMS? Today I'm going to be testing student skills. If they can guess, real and off brand root beer. What's your name? Jackson. So we have two identical cups of root beer. One is AMW and one is the off brand. So we will have you taste one to see if it is real or not. Take a sip of the first one. Um, one. I'm here. Uh, six out of ten. I'll take a second. Um, eight out of ten. I think this one's the real one, and that was the fake one. What are your names? Brody. Okay. So we have two identical cups of root beer here. You have to guess which one's real and which one's not. Take a sip. What do you think? Real or fake? Real. Hey. 
What would you rate these? One out of ten. Okay, 9.72. Thanks to all the students who participated in this JNN. If you want to participate in stuff like this, come to JNN. This is Harvey. He's the mug that eats pencils. This is Harvey's best friend, Mr. Thompson. Harvey lives on the corner of Mr. Thompson's desk. Harvey keeps pencils for any student who needs one. They're his food. Mr. Thompson keeps an eye out for students who can help feed Harvey. The first time I met Harvey, of course I remember. I was walking around Goodwill like I tend to do, looking for cool treasures. And there was Harvey with his little tiki faces. Harvey's Lake Tahoe. I'll never forget it. He's always there when I need him. And he's always there with a pencil for the students too. I love you, buddy.